Here we have the game set up for the scenario acquisition. Uh, on the left hand side down here we have the Church of Dagon uh, with a uh, voice of Dagon and uh, a single Dagon efficient over to the right and round the corner a uh, priest of Dagonite priest and a, another efficient over the other side yeah. we have the forces of the, the doctors uh, with a uh, what are they call plague doctor Two, one madman, two nurses, nurses and a... It's a warden. A warden. On this side of the game. Uh, our objectives for the game are a pair of donkeys, sat in the middle of the board here and on the right over there. Roll for Church of Dagon. Roll Five. for the Doctors. I got lots of successes. Five successes. Doctors hey. take the first turn. All right, I'm going to take the warden and I'm going to double move, which is basically six inches, and hoof it over to our friend the donkey over here, who I am officially naming Steve. Move for the Church of Dagon. It's going to be an inch inch move for the efficient up to the other side of the donkey. This is Dave the donkey on this side. Two basically there because I've changed my mind about who is going to carry Steve um, and then I think she's going to just sit there for the rest so of the day. The Dagon efficient is going to jog over the bridge to this building over here. This madman is going to make a two inch, three inch ish hop onto the obstacle and then take his free jump off over here somewhere depending on how far he gets and we'll do some sort of four dice. I make one success, which is a slightly pathetic two inches, although two inches does still get him on. Ah, two, good enough. So that's two plus two. That takes him to there. And then he is going to take his second action just to complete his casual wander another four inches to about there. So the Dagonite Priest is going to do a little jog uh, two move actions up to the edge of the bridge over here. I'm going to jump from on the floor down here with the Plague Doctor up onto this ledge for four and then a rather nifty somehow jump out and over for another three, which will definitely be fine with my glorious agility of first jump or makes it. I'm not going to take the model. Also makes it happy then, days. So I'm like, okay. Three two, successes. Three, so five, maybe five from there will be comfortably over. Right? May I move her? Yes. This hand? Yep. So we're going to make an imaginary hop onto here and then up and over to there. Four inch move to the edge here. And then I'm going to jump down there, which is, I think, about three. It is about three. One success will do. That's fortunate. Two successes. And a nice little hop down to The there. final turn for the Church of Dagon is the uh, voice of Dagon here. He's going to make a move four inches up this bridge here, and then another four inches over to the corner of that bridge there, and lose his last action point. Get a double move Next. out of the nurse, who's going to come basically from where she is, round to the end of this bridge. The first Fort turn, it. we have uh, the Church Dagon uh, pulling up over the left flank, but not quite up to the bridge. Over in the middle, a couple more members of the church are on the bridge uh, with Bill the Donkey. It was Bill this one, Bill and Steve, wasn't it? It was Dave and Steve. Dave and Steve. And, yeah. Where's Bill? <laughs> Bill was last time's donkey. Uh, the um, doctor, Plague Doctor is on the balcony, just about in range of his spells. Got a couple more members of the Doctors down the side, and the Warden, and another nurse with the other donkey, Steve, over here. Shift for turn two, starting with the church. We get one, two successes for the church. Followed by the doctors. One, two successes again. Wow. So we roll again. Doctors first. Yep. One, one success. Glorious. That's what he does an apathetic drop. And the church is one, two, mm. three, four, five successes oh, and a crit. Successes. 
So this term we're going to do it a little bit differently. We're going to take a single stream of footage. So starting with the Church of Dagon, we are going to, first of all, move this side and um, this efficient Dagon efficient here is going to start moving with uh, the donkey. Um, I'm going to initially just make a move back down to the edge of the bridge here. Taking the donkey with me, I think that will do for my first action. Over to you, Charlie. I feel like the donkey's obstructing line of sight. I'm uh, hiding behind the donkey. <laughs> I am actually going to pick up the donkey with the nurse. And the nurse is going to make a four inch move back there. With the donkey. And abandon the poor soul because he just needs to live there i think uh, there you go okay second action from the church of dagon is going to be the dagonite priest over here he's going to start doing some damage i think and um, so we'll move oh, we've got a range of 12 inches on that more than enough space to start get into that doctor there Start with some vermin. So will... uh, it costs me one uh, will point. Uh, pick an enemy character within 12 inches of line of sight, and that character takes my mage level plus one damage. Uh, I have a mind of four. That's 48. Um, my will down in a moment. Uh, difficulty for some vermin is five, so I have one, two successes. Are you, you going to. That? So that's pointing from. Uh, the priest over here up to the um, doctor, play doctor up there. I am definitely going to have to go to spelling that then. So one, two, three, four, five. And I will use my poor unfortunate madman down there because, you know, he has will, apparently. I have to beat two. Two. I beat two. Hey, one, two, two. three. So the spell fails. Uh, that's my second action. Okay, uh, over to you. I'm going to... Make him pay. So I'm going to see where I can where I have to get to. About there, so this will be good fun. <laughs> right. So what we're going to do is attempt a jump to there, which is four inches, and then a cheeky hop onto the bridge to shoot them in the face. So four inches, I need two successes, which is probably rich on a dexterity of four. No mile up, but let's see. Oops, Daisy. Two successes. Two successes. That was lucky. And then a second jump. Uh, second jump. Oh, there's a roll it now. One, okay. two, three successes three again successes with a crit. And a critical. So I get to do some extra jumping. I think it's three, isn't it? Critical move four inches. So where <laughs> would I like to stand in this area? That's the thing. So your first move and then onto the bridge. So let's imagine that I end up standing roughly here. Roughly there. Okay. And I am then your going, first action. It is. I'm then going to spend a command point to move this fine gentleman along here. So he's going to attempt a jump that will only go wrong. So that's a three inch jump on a. How many decks has he got? Four. Oh, this will be fine. So I need one a success. success. A One, success. Two, three successes. Hooray. So he's going to hop to five inches. Even further. So he actually might hop to there. And then he's going to do his little hop off. <laughs> I just really don't want to use the doctor's exactly zero willpower. Hurrah! Two more successes. So, so he's, he's going to. Five go inches and a four inch. Some glorious hopping to basically here. Okay. And we shall unleash the Kraken. So okay. the Kraken's breath is going to do that, obviously. Catching both and characters. Both of those fine gentlemen. So we are rolling the in dice box. five. So the Kraken's Breath card, if you want to point at that, is there. The Kraken's Breath here. Uh, place the end of the teardrop shape template. In base contact with the casting character. Any character, friendly or enemy, partially tucked by the template, takes mage level plus two damage with penetration of minus mage level. That's going to hurt. It sounds pretty good. Your mage level is two. Yeah, my mage level's not that brilliant, but, you know, I'll take it. So I have got a mind of five, I'm expert sorcerer one. 
Unlike the Doctor of the Mind, who is not an expert sorcerer at all, inexplicably. Difficulty of six, I One have beat it. I will success. re roll that because why not? Still oh, just the one success. One success. So you take. Uh, so I'm, of course, going to try and um, really dispel easy. that. So I've got three remaining wills, so I'll spend another will point to do the dispel. I have a mind level of four. Swap hands on the camera. Uh, my level of four, I need to get at least two successes. So we've got one. Just the one! It's on sevens, isn't it? So just the one is equals not enough, is it? It is to dispel. Not okay. Should we do a check the rules and edit? Yeah, let's just have a rules check. Same amount of will points to dispel becomes an opposed roll. Oh. This is the new rules for uh, deducting the number of dice rolls from your success level. So you deduct one from your success level, getting zero successes. And then... So you break even, so nothing happens. Nothing happens, it fails. Yeah. That's cool. a real pity. Okay, so we'll carry on. I'm still recording. That's fine. I will just magic you again. How much will has he got left? Uh, I've got two more points of will. Sweet. I'm going to zap you with some more will-consuming things. Because in my head you have no way of getting any back. <laughs> I have got uh, ways of getting them back. I have uh, rejuvenation, no, not rejuvenation, uh, cantrip of the sun. Yeah, that's, can... all over, that's all over here, that's fine. It is, yes. Um... I'm going to shoot him with something else then. I'm going to shoot him with blood drain, because it sounds exciting. Let's have a copy of the card over here. Sure. So, Blood Drain aimed at the Dagonite Priest. Uh, pick an enemy character, line of sight, and six inches. Enemy takes mage level damage with a penetration of minus floor four. If the target loses at least one life, he can heal friendly models. Okay, and the dice roll for that. Um, yeah, I'm going to shoot him, that's fine. Difficulty seven. We have one, two, three successes Hurrah. there. Uh, I will, yes, try and dispel that again. Uh, I've only got four dice, unfortunately. I'm not as good a caster. Uh, one, two successes, and that's it. So it's a two success. You've got the card, you can do the maths. Uh, so two successes, you do your mage level with a penetration of minus four. So uh, mage level is two, so it's the Dagonite Priest is going to take two damage. Penetration. Um, penetration minus four. I've got a protection of three, so I'm minus zero, so I've got no dice to roll. Um, so I've taken two damage on my life of 12. Definitely worth it. Can't think of yeah. it wouldn't be. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Interesting. Can you give me that objective. Um, so we will... Um, dun -dun 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 So two damage, so I'm not going to take a huge amount more over there. Uh, I think I probably need to get some characters up over here. So we'll start with uh, we'll start with the voice of Dagon. He will initially trigger his command ability. Oh, no, he won't actually, because I'm not going to get within range of your ward in this round. Um, so actually, first of all, he's going to make a short move up onto this bridge up here. Just. Four inches up onto there, and he will use um, six inches. Are we in range over here? Six inches is in range. There we go. I'm going to try Cantrip of the Sun because it costs zero mind. Um, difficulty of seven. Pick. Here we go. Sorry, there's the card. Uh, pick one friendly character, line of sight, and six inches. He gains one life and one will point. Sounds like a plan. He's a slightly better sorcerer with a mind of five. And I can re-roll one dice. Uh, it's difficulty seven, so only got one success so far, so I'll re-roll in the box. Uh, no, that is one success only. Obviously try and dispel that. With my mind of five. Also for free. Was it no oh, successes? I've got an expert sorcerer. No, no successes. So the uh, Dagonite Priest here will recover one of his willpower 
and we'll go down to one. I'm counting up on the damage there, so it has only taken one damage. I just like to confuse people. Uh, okay, so that's two of his actions. Uh, his third action, he will. Um, I think he's going to. Shall I go all in over this side? I think I'm going to go all in over this side. He's going to make a jump action in this direction over here, looking for uh, five would do it. Up to there would be nice. So we'll try this. What the heck? At worst, I land on the pier. Uh, that shouldn't hurt him too much. So he has a dexterity of four. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three successes. That will get me five inches pitch. over there onto the edge. Yeah, it'll get me five inches up to here easily. And then he'll make his secondary jump from the edge of the railing. And one success will be here with no failures. That's two more successes, so that's another four inch move. I think he's just going to plunk himself. Um, shall I go next to the doctor? Or shall I go and take out his ba mana battery? I think I'm going to take out his mana battery. I'm going to jump onto the edge here, over, and next to this guy over here. That's my second action. I finish my activation in base contact with an enemy. I get an attack of opportunity. So the voice of Dagon is not the world's greatest attacker, so he has an attack of two. Um, uh, unarmed. Range zero, no evasion, no damage bonus, and a penetration plus one. However, nope, I don't have anything useful in combat. What the heck, we'll try this. I, I manage no successes. <laughs> so, failed that attack. Um, he has a final action though, so he'll make another <laughs> attack action. There's no benefits of spending a point doing an attack action, so you don't get extra dice. No. Okay. Well, you, I think you do. You do the spend a command point to get more dice to roll thing. Oh, I won't do it now. I'll keep my command level. Uh, I managed one success with my third action. So, do you want to make a um, penetration? You say I mean, uh, penetration plus one. So a protection roll. Unless you are particularly bad at hitting. Yeah, I am particularly bad at hitting. He so is I one on four dice. Yep. Yeah. I make it. There's a nine there. So there we go. Failed attack. Managed Next straight then, dodged you. Um, we've got <clears throat> two characters over here, and where's your other character? Hiding around the back. Oh, hiding around the back. There. Yeah, okay, around here. So I will, this is probably time for Warden to go and do anything at all, isn't it really? Probably. Go, go, Warden. Uh, he's probably going to do a... Hmm. I think he's just going to do a regular old waddle to there for his first action. And then the question is, do we think I can do on... No. <laughs> four, oh, four dexterity. Use four dexterity. every chance that I could jump six inches from <laughs> the edge of that. Can't jump higher than one inch, remember. That's fine, that's only an inch. It's a straight line. That could get me onto the pier. Okay, go for it. I feel it. like I'm not going to do that. I'm probably no. just going to do a little hop onto there, though. You need to declare direction first, so... so I'm going to hop in this direction. Diagonally onto here. And basically hope... onto the edge of there and onto the bridge. Hope it doesn't over jump. Yeah. <laughs> We have two he successes. He doesn't over jump, so he so just makes it out there. Yeah. Okay. Right, and finally, I have one little handy dude down here, and he's going to make some runs. Uh, what's a charge move? That's directly into combat. Yes. I am eight inches away. The perfect distance for a double move. If a charge gives me a double move. I think just moving into base combat is charging, isn't it? Hold on. Is there not an actual charge move in this? No, it's just the act of getting into cut into. I thought you got the bonuses for charging. I can't remember. If you charge, you can make a single attack of opportunity upon arrival. Right. Is there a bonus to that? No. Okay, so he's going to move all the way up. What the heck? We'll have a up there. And we'll make a single attack of opportunity. So a Dagon efficient. I actually aren't too bad in combat. We have three attack this time. Uh, with Coppish daggers, which have minus one protection. That will be two successes there. Okay. Your protection rolls are minus one. Oh, that's all right. I've still got four. And I've got expert protection two. 
So what am I trying to beat two? You've got protection three, then Mike, you're on what? minus one, haven't you? Oh, no, you're oh, you got five. five. I'm looking at the wrong the man with the leather arm, the shield, okay. and the metal head. Possibly the wrong person to attack then with a Oops. small stabbing eye. Uh, four, six, five. <laughs> there you all succeeded. Right, okay, that was a failed attack. Successfully warded, his job is done. Okay, uh, that's me done. You've got a uh, character around the back here. Madame Lurkey. Who is going to move a grand total of not very far at all to. She gets to there. Can she see. Oops, Daisy. I will take that out as I go along. Let's imagine that was there. So she's going to move four inches onto the bridge. Can she see him? Yes. So six inches to the very wonky corner of his base. To attempt the cantrip of the sun oh, on a mind of five because she has companion doctor and there is a doctor with a mind of five on the board. So this should be much less rubbish than it was last time. Okay, roll me some dice there. Uh, what am I trying to get? Cantrip of the seven, isn't it? Cantrip of the sun. Hooray! One success. One there. success, that's all I need. So he regains, he's not lost any life, but he regains a will point. Okay, I'm not going to bother trying to spell that because I only have two willpower left. Uh, that's it, isn't it? So at the end of the round, we've got a donkey under the control of the nurse over here. We have a little scrap happening on the bridge here. We have uh, what's going to be a messy scrap over here, I suspect, and some backup appearing over there, and the other donkey down here. Uh, I am a man down, so this might be a difficult fight here. Three initiative uh, for the church. I've still got five command, so that is no successes, critical failure. Excellent, I think, because then I think that I'm going to go first, as long as I don't critically fail, because I'm on four now. With the success. success, hooray, I go first. What to do, what to do. This might be a little bit painful over here. So the director... To keep spending command points just to get the madman out of the way. I think I'm probably going to... We did the command point wrong last time. You can only activate at the end of one of my activations to get the bonus action. Ah, matter. Well, at least we realised. Now, yeah. <laughs> you can't escape this turn until after I've activated, so I'll have to either slap him first before he runs off, or it doesn't really matter because I've got, I'm going to get slapped somewhere. I am going to probably attempt, I think I'll charge the... Should I do that with him, or should I just lamp him for now? I'm going to go to the warden, activate the warden. Okay, got the warden in the centre. Over there. I'm just going to hit you twice, I think. Let's see how that goes. So, awesome. I've got an attack of four, but I am also easy to evade, so you get plus one on your defence. What's your dexterity? Dex is uh, four. Excellent, I hit you three times. Three times with that, and I shall go uh, with a protection of four plus one for your weapon. I get two successes, one's a critical. That's a bonus success, isn't it? So I only get three successes. So you get one hit, one success on me. Memory? In the math, right? I, just, I got three successes. You got three successes, did you? Sorry. So you've got a critical defense, which is possibly plus one, plus, plus one success. It sounds legit, doesn't it? It require me to remember the rule for hitting people. Right, should really use the uh, cheat sheet cards because it's I have those right, in front, right in front of you. Critical, add one extra ace. Was that three three? Then? That's three three. So I failed this attack from the first attack. Second attack then. Uh, yeah, it's a success. Just, in, yeah, uh, I'll just hit you again. Okay. <laughs> Seems like it's kind of my only option. So attack four. One two success. success. Oh, two successes because you're on a looking at far yep. or more, aren't you? Okay, and a defense roll again. Yep, I'm looking for seven down there. We have one. Ah, not enough. No. So one. One damage. Me. Plus plus one. So plus two one damage. damage. So efficient has twelve life and he's now on two damage. Oh, hang on. Uh, yes. 
And you get a stun counter from this glorious oh, collection of shiny things. Superb. So he's now stunned. That's wonderful. I can't, can't remember what Lucy. stun does. Um, oh, you're expecting to tell everybody? Yeah. I'm sorry. You lose one move, one attack, one dex, and one mind. Awesome. That's going to hamper him for the turn. Okay, so I think I'm going to activate the voice of Dagon next. Um, He'll start by triggering the Blessing of Dagon, which is his command ability over here. Um, all enemy characters within three inches receive a stun counter. Ooh. That will cost me one of my command points, leaving with four left. Rightly so. That's over there. So that will hit both the Doctor and the Madman. Um, I'm then going to... Uh, two attacks... Stunned character, your minus one protection, your minus one dex. Sorry, as well. Move attack, dex, and mind. Not to do protection. Uh, I shall hit you again. I hit you again. Um, do I need to? Uh, actually, I think for the uh, second action, I, uh, I'm going to do cantrip of the sun again to try and heal up my priest. Uh, I need sevens for this. I got one success. So I will try and spell that for a zero. Because why wouldn't you? I have mind of four now, thanks to my being stunned. And I got three successes. Three successes. You shall continue not to be. Okay. Um, and next is a command ability in action. Do you know? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, just slight pause for oh, reading the rules. Uh, I was just checking whether I've still got two actions left because he's got three actions in total. So if a, if a command ability is one action, then I'll have one action left. If it's not an action, then I'm going to possibly pick up this little madman here and chuck him over the side of right, the bridge. Just says you can use command, command points in four different ways. Each character can only use these options once each per round. So I don't need to. Okay, awesome. So what we'll do next <coughs> is... Um, we will pick up the poor little man, and I get a bonus dice for being. Oh, I get a bonus dice for an attack for being bigger than you. Oh, this is that. Yeah. Yeah. Size. I'm attempting to throw him over the bridge. I think. What's your deck? Said uh, opposed grapple is an opposed attack roll. Oh. Seven plus. I failed miserably. Did you fail critically? <laughs> no, I didn't fail critically. I still got two on the bottom one. Uh, let's try it again. <laughs> I'm doing very badly. These dice are going to go in the bin. So, both his attacks failed. Your turn. I'm tempted to throw him in the water to see how he likes it. <laughs> Do you get minus one dice in attacking? I don't know. I don't think so. I should remember that. I attacked last turn. It doesn't oh. say on there. Okay. Um, no, I lie. What I'm actually going to do is... Do I disengage? Do I just stay there? My only particularly offensive character is the Doctress. Is a word. So I am going to do some magic. Let's do some magic. I shall start with... Counter with the Devil. So cost zero, difficulty seven. Pick any character in line of sight within three inches. They either lose one life point or take two damage with penetration minus two. I'm going to go for the priest with my... Awesome mind of four. There we go. I'm trying to beat sevens, re rolling one of them. Uh, they don't have to, so there we go. In fact, I will. I'll just re roll that fairly because it makes it harder for you to spell. But I'll re roll this one because it's all over there. I've got an eight for the record. Nope. Two. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to bother trying to dispel it simply because I am a little short on words. So, how is he doing? What's his protection? His protection is three. Uh, I don't have any special abilities. That I'll do that one. Two protection. damage protection. Two damage. Two. Protection minus two, so mm -hmm. I get one dice to defend it. Failed. So he takes two more damage. I mean, this is a slow and agonising way to not kill somebody. That's one action. Next action. Probably some more magic. <laughs> more magic. Um, <laughs> Kraken's crack and... Breath again? I think I might just Kraken's Breath, and it's quite tempting. It's quite expensive, though. It costs yeah. two. How well willpower are you? He's not That's doing one field there, but the madman, you sort of use him as a battery and then discard him callously. Then you can chuck him in the water to what you like. Yeah, I might just start ignoring him after that. Oh, here we go. 
Kraken's Breath again. I can just clip the pair of them, that's lovely. Yeah, okay. Let's Kraken's Breath them for two. So, minus one. Come here. Difficulty um, six. Expert Sorcerer one. So I got two. two. I will reroll that one for a giggle. Hey, Very critical success. success. I'm not going to dispel that because I said uh, I've got two willpower and um, yeah, I don't want to waste my will there. So, what damage am I taking? So, I gain a will point. Excellent. How does that work when I don't have? Do I give it back to the madman? No, you get it yourself, I think. Oh, TT Combat, FAQ that. Um, <laughs> I cast according to its effect plus one for the X. So, they both take. Three, five damage with penetration five, minus three. Five damage. Where it's mage level plus two. So it's X mage level plus one for the critical is three plus two. So five damage, penetration minus two does, it add, does the critical add to your mage or add to the number of successes you've rolled? It adds to the plus X. Increasing any X amounts by plus one. So Ow. five damage five at damage. penetration minus three. Right, well, the priest gets zero protection then. Three. So he will five go damage. to... Three and another two. He's hurting, and the efficient gets a massive one dice. Um, doesn't get anything bonusy there, so we'll get one dice there. It's a fail. So he takes a full five. So he takes a full five. So he goes up to uh, six, seven. This is not going well. There we go. And then. Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? Yeah, why not? So I'm going to do blood drain on the priest. Okay. His last remaining will. So he's on zero. So if when he gets to his activation, I think he will then take damage. Yay! That's fine. Should have punched him earlier. Shouldn't have wasted totally have time. a plan for that. So blood drain difficulty seven on four. Rerolling one of them again. Did I get any? I got one. one. That'll do. So I will move those two out of the way and re-roll that. Just the one success. So that is on the name the priest. He takes two damage penetration minus four. Oh, two more damage. He's up to ten damage. He's nearly dead. I have nobody who's lost any life to gain any life back. But there we go. Okay. Good work, Doctor. But that stunned counter now disappears as well, which is lovely. At the end of his activation. Yeah. Um... Problematic, this. Um, you out, kill a guy. So, unfortunately, my healer, Voice of Dagon's already been this turn, which means the priest is struggling a little bit. Can't heal himself with healing. Uh, could heal the uh, efficient over here. Oh, I just realised I've put damage on the wrong efficient. Uh, I should have one on three from the dude and one on five from the spell. Five, four. Oh, like wasn't it? Dice? Uh, no, I'll just put them above each other like that. Okay, so I think actually um, the mage will go. Let's try and do some things. So the um, priest will go. He's going to first try and cast healing on the Dagonite priest over here. Um, it's not a huge amount. It's only going to get me two elf back, but it will do. I've got three, four dice, needing five to the cost of one mind. I get one, two, three successes there. I'm going to dispel Okay, so that's taking his will down by one. And he will heal the uh, one who's fighting the uh, warden by two points. So he's down to just one. That's uh, this guy over here. So that's my first action. Second action, I'm going to attempt to summon vermin. And he'll cast in just on the plague doctor here. So we've got another one, so that leaves me... Oh, hang on, no will. No will's bad, isn't it? Sounds like it'd be bad, doesn't it? Uh, I won't do that, then. Only, I think it only affects certain characters, though. I've got an attack of three, and I've got next to no life left. Can you check the rules for Enrage, whilst I just pop myself up here in combat with you? Because Enrage sounds like it's going to be really good. What am I doing? Enrage character ability. Engage. Enrage. Enrage. 
Uh, no, engage, sorry. I can't. Engage? Engage! I can't engage read. X. When an enemy character disengages from this character, oh. it may re-roll up to the X dice for the opposed dexterity roll and gains plus one attack for the attack opportunity if successful. That's useless. She's quite grabby. Yeah, quite grabby. So in that case, I'm just going to give him a quick punch with my sacrificial dagger. Nothing special here. Just the attack of three. I get a single success. Oh, no, hang on. What's your dexterity? On who? Your plague doctor. Four. Four. So I get one, two successes. What are you trying to do? Stab me. I'm stabbing you Rude. with my pointy knives. So protection four. Minus one, four. Oh, you've not stunned anymore, are you? Nope. I get evasion. Oh, my scalpel. Never mind. I beat it. Hopeless. Oh, we have. What's the fear thing? Is that when I charge you? Yes, when you attack. Okay, that's fine then. So, four, what are we trying to beat? Uh, I've got two successes. So, I'm two sevens. Six. None. Yeah. None. None at all. Right, so, is that? so that will be um, um, one damage. Hey! Is it one damage per hit, per success? Uh, or is it just one damage? I've completely forgotten. Because we never actually get to it. One point of damage for every success. Yep, so that's two damage then. I should get some dice now. Oh no, I've done some damage to him. Um, as you can see from Charlie's side of the board here, there is not a lot of damage done on anybody. Okay, so that's the uh, Dragonite Priest done. So I've just got the two uh, efficients, efficients, cultists. <laughs> Those guys, they seem fine. Dudes with hoods. Hmm. I have just got nurses left. So this charming lady over here is going to shimmy on up the stairs and cantrip of the sun, the madman. Okay. On a five, because of that wonderful companion doctor trick. Is it five? It is a five. It is five now, yeah. Five. So I'm trying to beat seven. I did. Two. Two. That gives him mind back, does it? It does give him back some mind, so that's nice. Okay. So he goes up to a grand total of one will. So uh, my action then. I think it's going to have to be this cultist dude mm -hmm. here. He, so although he's stunned, he's going to have to lash out at mm -hmm. the warden before the warden um, beats him into next week. I mean, that's going to be next turn. Which but is well, next yeah. activation. So, um, stunned, do I lose an attack for stunned? You do. So I've only got an attack of two. What the heck? First action, attack. That'll, four. that'll be a failure. Two and a three. Second action, attack again. One Ooh, success. Rat. <laughs> that was nearly a critical. Nearly failure. a critical fail. Uh, one, one success. success you say. Protection of five. Is it a minus one? Uh, minus one. Yes. So protection of four. Protection of four. Rerolling two. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was a uh, poor. Sorry, dude. You're, you're doing his thing him. for a change. Yeah. Don't attempt to combat a warden. So you got the warden, and you've got the lassie down here. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, no, the warden's been. The warden's been. Lamped him right at the start. Oh, okay. That's gone now. Ah, yeah, that's right. So we've got Lassie with Donkey. So she should be the last one, and she is going to just do some extra moving back to there, obviously. And that pretty much secures that objective for hey, you. Look, I have a donkey. I have one last dude down here. Um, I think he's going to make a four inch move uh, right up there to. Not quite in range of the doctor, unfortunately. E, that's not going to be far enough. So where are we going to go from there? We're going to go straight up. We'll move and move again to squeeze in next to the uh, Denite Priest there and make one attack opportunity with one, two, three dice. Dex of four again, is it? Uh, yes. That'll be three successes. Okey doke. Let's see. Protection four. Minus one. Protection three. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Ah, come over here. In the box, please. Cut. Oh, two, two successes. successes. That's fine. So I'll take That's one. Single damage. damage. Okay. I'm okay with that. Bit of a scrap, but that's it. And that is the end of the turn. So we have a uh, secure objective. That's not. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Hang on. My you is less than entirely same. Oh, the same. Oh, yeah. The same guy. So. He is stunned. He is stunned. But he's, he's also only really got one mind and he doesn't do anything else. We've got quite a lot of life. So, I... Is he the chap with the grabby arms? 
with yeah. engage. Uh, or is that someone else? No. No. So what I think I might do is attempt to jump to safety if I can, <laughs> or at least I move to safety, because I think this might be amusing. It's not looking good for the uh, the old church here. Um, oh, there's still time. Yeah, there's still the time. priest is going to be the problem. I need to get the priest somewhere safe fairly rapidly. So I'm going to attempt to jump disengage, because I'm pretty sure it doesn't say you can't. Okay. Because I intend to do something childish here. So I'm going to try and jump to there on a two, and then jump from there over here and engage with the priest for four. Because why not? Right. So I'm stunned, which means that I'm doing poorly. Dex is uh, minus one, isn't minus it? Minus one dex. Uh, right, he's so we're going to do... A stunning, stunning. He's dex four still. He is, so he's on my, he's three dex. It is an opposed dexterity roll. Okay. So I'm rolling three dice. What are you rolling? I'm rolling four dice. Sweet. How could this go wrong? Off you go. I don't know what I'm trying to get. Seven, I think. I think it's... Do you know it doesn't say? It's just an opposed roll. I think it is seven, so... Oh, well. It's a dot, right, so no successes. Yep, so I... What just... happens if I, I get successes? Um, you make an attack of opportunity against the disengaging character. And then I move away. I got three successes. So you failed. I did. So you just get a success. So, so I you get... make one attack of opportunity and then I move. How many dice is an attack of opportunity? Just a regular attack. Just a regular attack. So yeah. that is the voice of Dagon. Two attack dice plus one for his size. Eat him. Critical, Critical success. success. That's three successes. Uh, you go on protection plus one. That's lucky. So I've got protection four. Minus one for your stun. Isn't no, it? that's not true. Is it not? Nope. Okay, so it's actually four. You've got to be two successes. One, two, seven is one, one two, two successes. Okay. So take one damage. Because you've got a critical. Yep. So total yep. three, so he takes one damage. Pity. Du, 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 du. You just have that little change music to Okay, so and... So now he makes his... So he's going to jump over here when I've done my jump. Okay. Let's, let's roll the so jump. Dex of three, because he's currently stunned. Which no, he does not make. Is. So he just flubs into the well, wall, I suppose. Strictly speaking, he, he, does he make the jump and fall off, or does he just not make the jump? I think he just doesn't make the jump, so he just stays put, disappointingly. Oh dear. That's not just going to headbutt you, I think. It's probably my <laughs> oh no, you move two inches on a jump. I fail. Okay. So I just go... Uh, flop against the wall. And you can take his little stun counter. Well, that's sad, that's madman, isn't it? Is that it? I'm tempted to just charge you. <laughs> just run back and fling his head at me now. Well, that's my first action, so I, actually, I might just do a proper jump now. Right. <laughs> you can jump onto here and over there. Right, go for it. You can do it. You're only a bit rubbish. Any sevens? Are there any sevens? There no. are no sevens. Fails his jump again. He's just going to stay put. I think he should fall off the edge. He should definitely fall. And he can't move too. He can just go two uh. inches onto the top. They fall back that way. Anyway, yeah. he's unstunned. He gets four decks next turn if he's not dead. Right. This is all assuming you can jump out of combat. Otherwise, that was completely wrong. Ah, it's good enough. It's good enough. Right then. So, end of the round. We still have a big strap on here. We have a nursey coming at the back. We've got a nursey over this side here. And we have um, probably a dead priest, a uh, dead um, um, cultisty dude fairly early next turn. Sounds about right. for turn four, starting with the uh, Plague Doctors. Two. Two successes. Dun, dun, dun. Church Dagon's down to four. Can I now? Uh, we get a none. Oh. Well, turn four, first turn again. That's probably going to mean a dead uh, priest. I haven't decided yet. A definite right. priest. 100% the priest. Let's give me a bit of a fight down here. I'm going to have the Plague Doctors. Quite a surprise. Still a word. I am going to... How many health has he got left? Two, I think. Two. That sounds legit. Let's do... Counter of the Devil. It costs zero, so technically you can try and dispel this. One, two, three, four. Okay. Five, and mine five. Uh, one, two, three, four successes. I'm going to have to try and dispel it, aren't I? I haven't got much choice here. Idea. Um, I mean, it costs zero, so you can spell yeah. it with whoever. 
So I will dispel it with, I'll dispel it with the um, Dagonite Cruel Priest, or should I do it? Voice of Dagon, actually. Can he see you? Yes, he's right next to you. Because <laughs> he gets mine five. Despite having um, no eyes and expert sorcerer. metal helmet. Oh, I'm also expert sorcerer, Drat. Can you roll that one for me, see what I'd get? Uh, I got four. No, three. Can't count. I also would have. So how many do you get, sorry? Four. Four. Yes, so it works. Uh, so I will. The priest can take two damage with penetration minus two. I like that one. Yeah, that leaves me with one protection. Here is my protection dice. That is what it's going to roll. <laughs> Honest. It really is as well, isn't it now? Oh no! No, fails. he's dead. Twelve damage. Priest is removed That's from the game. Satisfying. That's not very helpful because he is my main caster for the game. Sad face. Right then, so cool. in that case... Two actions to go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. I shall... Hmm. Your donkey logging gentleman over there, he's the least injured, isn't he? He's the one with the one... Yeah, he's only got one injury. He's not the one who's been coshed around the head repeatedly. Four. I think I shall start off by blood draining him. So I will use that poor madman's one remaining mind again. <laughs> so difficulty seven on five dice. You have to assume that everyone watching this knows how the whole destiny dice thing works because we've completely forgotten to mention it. Right, it's fine. I... Come on, no hilarious one critical success. No, one, two successes though. Two successes, expert sorcerer. I will reroll literally a two. Okay. Um, Meant to be, still two successes. Voice of Dagon can't dispel because he's already dispelled once this turn. I think you can dispel until you. No, you dispel up to your mage level. Oh, that was the message I'm I sent lucky. you last week. Um, cool. So he takes what? He takes two damage penetration minus four. No, protection of four. Okay, so he'll take some damage then. Sweet, and I will gain. Some life. Two life points because I took you've bled at all. So I will go down to one damage. Hmm. Come on, son. And then I will stab you. <laughs> okay, have some dice. Let's have what's your attack. Have an attack of four. One, two, three, four. Is it worth me doing? Oh, fear. So you have to take a mind check. A mind I'm check on a efficient. He is mind three, so that's easy enough to do with so one, two, you three. Take a mind roll seven. Yes, you just get an ace. One, two, critical success. Fair enough, nothing happens. Nothing happens on a critical success. He doesn't leap up and headbutt you in the face. Come Correct. On. I want a scouser. No, nothing happens. <laughs> I fear no, you not. Actually, no, we can scouse by succeeding mind rolls. <laughs> uh, right, what am I trying to beat you on? Dex 34? Dex 4, yeah. So, four ups. One, Ooh. two, three. Three will do. Three will do, okay. Three yeah. up. Um, evasion plus one. So you get one extra section. Okay, so you're on section five. One, two. Um, expert offence. Now that helps me. I've been thinking oh, about my expert offence. done this backwards. Two. Because you actually, it's penetration minus one, so you get one dice less. So what the hell is evasion? Evasion gives me plus one of my dexterity. Ah, oh, so I had to beat fives. Yeah, so which is still fine because I got two sevens in the crit. Should so we leave it as as that? Rather Three successful than, hits. Or I, or I can add minus two. minus one protection. Okay, I'll roll again. Uh, yeah. 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 Two successes. So one through. So one through. Yep. One damage. Yep. One damage on the least damaged dude over here. Winner. Two, four damage. Great, I've got to remember which side of the dice and numbers were on. Yeah. Okay, that's his actions. Yes. So We need some like have done stuff tokens. I think um, this fight over here is going to be the next one. It's horribly in shadow there. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, Dagger Efficient, he's no longer stunned, which is useful. So first of all, he's going to take his daggers and give you a good stab. Uh, I've got attack of three against your dexterity four, isn't it? Yes. It'd equal your dex, or it'll beat, it'll beat it. Uh, it's a good question. I can't. Do you know, I've never had to think about it. Attack rolls. 
equal or higher. Hey, that's three successes then. Three successes. That's very handy. Is it protection minus anything? No, protection... Oh, yes, protection minus one. So it's four. We're rolling two. I'm trying to get threes. Three successes. Uh, three successes. Three sevens. Three sevens. Did I get any success no. sevens there? So I will two. roll two. Still no sevens. See? Three damage. Three damage. Awesome. He's going to make you mad. And we'll do it again. Okay. Yep. That'll be three more successes. Two, and you can reroll the other two. Two, I can reroll the other two because it's tucked you over down that corner. Three. One more, three, no damage on the second strike. Winner. Okay, that was all right. I, then I'll give that. I mean, he's still got 10 health left, but you know, yes, he's not it's not the worst result ever. So uh, we've got the warden over here, you've got the lady over there. Yeah, she's not going to do anything for ages. I'm going to do the warden. Well, that's fine. Dun, 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 so, dun, attack dun, dun, of four. Ooh. Evasion plus one, so target five. Yes. My melee is rubbish now that I actually look at the stats. None. None. Brilliant um, first strike. Attack him again. I didn't want to do He's that. a tank. He basically takes oh. damage, doesn't he? I know, but I was really hoping to stun you on this round and then grapple you into the water because then you'd start drowning. Ah, uh, yeah, that was from last time. But that will do. Three. Three fives. Okay, my protection is four. I'm on protection mm, minus one. No, hang on. None. Protection none. Protection no change. So just four dice. So you've taken four damage at the moment. And yet again, I forgot I was ex. Did I do my expert defense when I attacked this? Do you all want to attack those? I can't remember. I'll go and check the footage later. Uh, one success there only. So three damage. Three damage. And a stun token. So he is now to six, seven, eight points of damage. Yeah, not looking good over here. We're pretty wounded. So. And. This is two attacks. I know, I'm thinking. I've had an idea. What's his dexterity? Minus one now. So three. three. Yeah. For giggles, I'm going to spend one of his command points to you gain can't. extra AP. You can't yes, do it you can. my actions. No, no. Different thing. Oh, okay. It is. A different rule. It says things that suit me. <laughs> this helps that Charlie's read the rules and I haven't. It does. Ah, no, you're right. It's actually the start of activations. You can use the command points of someone else to gain the additional AP. So had I decided at the beginning of my activation, I could have had three AP on him. Ah, I see what I mean. Yeah. Oh, Carry right. on, as you were. Okay. Um, I was going to throw you in the water and then you'd have to start next turn on drowning. Over here. Um... Hmm. <laughs> Who's been? No one's been there. Oh, I said, have they? Um, no. no. Well, obviously he's been, but um, in that case, I will start with the voice of Dagon because he's always fun. And he's going to get really yelly and shouty and use his um, oh. blessing of Dagon. Is that a spell? No, it's his, his command ability. Okay. Bang. He does that and goes, Oi! And no, these two that. characters here get both get a stun token. It's a really good ability. It is rather cool, isn't it? Uh, next, we're going to... Oh, the temptation to just barrel them both into the water. I think we might indeed do that. So activation two. Uh, he will move into contact with both of these two, like this. Uh, he'll take an attack of opportunity against the madman. I presume I only get one attack of opportunity, not two. I'll start, I'll start with the Madman, and I'm going to grapple him. Okay. Oh, that's not an attack. You get the attack of opportunity is an attack, and oh. it's a separate thing, I think. Survey saves. Oh, no, you can choose a combat action, grapple, or a drown. Okay, I will grapple and attempt to lob him into the water. Uh, I've got attack two plus one for my um, attack. What's your deck, sorry? Minus one is three. So uh, three. It's only two attack, two successes then so far. Draw as so I do the same. Yep. Three. Do all your attack still. What? You're attack minus one, aren't you? It's just minus one, isn't it? Grapple. No, bear in mind it's your. Do you stunned? Yes, it's minus one dex. It's opposed roll. Yeah, but you you're rolling three against your attack number, isn't it? Is that nice? No, I don't think so. Hang on. 
What yeah. dice are you rolling? Because I roll my number of attack dice for a grapple. Oh, it is attack, you're right. Sorry. Yeah, so you've got... There's still three. Oh, no, two, one. Two, one. Yeah, one, one dice. Great success. Three. No! no. Well, so you can I'll move you. him. Two inches plus one for every ace roll. <laughs> Splash. Uh, can you just measure the... Over that, please. One up. What? I'll just, I'll just get to the edge and just poof him off. Let's tip it away. It is four. Oh, you can take a falling test then, can't you? I can. He's not going to get any damage from this. It's minus two anyway. Uh, falling test requires me to remember how the falling test works. Dexterity roll. Minus one, so you're on three decks. Yep, three decks, uh, sevens. Yeah. None. None. So he takes four minus two. He has two. Two damage. That was an excellent attack. Um, and then with his... Oh, he's only got two actions, hasn't he? Ah, he's not my leader. No, he's not. He's got three actions. He's my leader. <laughs> his, his final action is to do exactly the same with the with the uh, witch doctor. No, uh, doctor. Play doctor. Play doctress. It's Play doctress. I'm sorry. It's a word. So off we go again with uh, another attack roll. This doesn't go quite as well. Ah, uh, no, it gets one one success because you're a minus one dexterity. Oh, yeah, I'm minus one dexterity. Three. Um, I'm a uh, fine. Two. However, before you touch the dice, what does parry do? That is re-rolling is that def- attack, I believe. Is it? I thought it was defence. That wouldn't make any sense, would it? I thought I parry your defence. I don't parry what, your parry attack. attack. When you become the target of a combat attack okay. while in base contact. That's fine. Okay, so that failed. Unfortunately, you didn't get to throw him overboard. Uh, it was pity. Hey, ho. He's quite funny. Ah, oh, drowning, man. You're gone. Daisy, so she's gonna activate obviously for one action back here. Second action counter for the sun on him. Okay. One, two, three. There's only four because currently the doctor's mind is four. So I think sevens. There's some rolling happening this way. One. Worthwhile rolling. One. One. Ah. Oh. Which does what? I gain. So do I do that? I definitely get one will back, and do I bother giving him an extra two life points and using two will up? No. Okay. So he goes up to two damage. Okay. Right. So I've only got this uh, last dude here, um, and I think he's going to go a bit nuts on your play doctor. Doctress. So we've got three attacks. First attack. He has expert defense one, so I get to reroll one of these. He's gonna be threes. That's two successes, so if I take this one and roll this one as well, that'll be three successes. Yep. Defense roll. Many minus anything? Uh, minus one protection. So protection three. One success. One success. So two damage. Two damage, and then I will make another attack on you. Right, second action. Uh, that'll be one, two successes again. I can reroll that. Expert offence. Three successes again. One, one. defence again, That's two more damage. damage. Super. That'll do nicely. Okay, you'll go. Uh, what have we got left? No silver here, I suppose. Is that up to five damage now? Is that it? <sighs> I should probably leave the nurse. You've got the nurse over there. There's the madman beam. No, um... Because when he activates, he's going to drown. He, well, it's fine, because I've already healed him, so he's only going to take okay. a little bit more damage. Two more damage, isn't it? So, yeah, I'll activate him. He takes two damage for starting with stun. And then he's going to make some hops, because it'd be a lot. So we jump onto there. Can't but... jump out of the water. You have to climb out of the water. Climb out of the water, whatever you want to call it. So he can swim across and climb one inch up onto the barrels. Nope. Not quite an inch. And then I jump onto here, I suppose, for four f- inches. Four, four inches on three dice. That sounds legit. Then he might jump in and make an attack because it'd be funny. Okay, three dice then for. Let's start with that, shall we? And just see if I can jump over the top of it. So two successes. Two successes minimum to get that. 
Critical success. One critical success, which is two successes, isn't it? It is. There you go. So he, make, he makes his four-inch jump onto the edge of the walkway over here, and then he jump. You going to try and jump into combat then? No, I'm going to jump over. Okay. And no longer be. No longer be stunned. Mm. Right, I'm out of activations now, so you can move the last mercy over here. Nah. Okay. <laughs> End of the round. Um, so it's not looking awful, not looking great. Initiative for turn five. Starting oh, with doctors. Yeah, two. Two. Ah. two successes. Right, I'm down to just three initiative, uh, three mine uh, command. That's the one. No. no. Excellent. That's I not a good first. start. So, I will, I will, I will, I will, because hmm. it's the last round, I'm going to use my own willpower to start with, to crack his breath in the face, obviously. Well, there you go, I carry the... Well, yes. Yeah, donkey. Yes, I am. Mother Hydra's claws at this point would be hilarious, but <laughs> that seems like childish. Okay, go for it. So, four mines, depressingly. We roll in one. Target is six. Let's nuke. Yeah. Obviously. Come on. Hey, a six and nine. Two successes, and I will reroll back oh, an expert sorcerer. Yeah. Worth it. Three successes. And it costs two mind. Two will, even. Sorry. Two so he's will. actually got zero now. I have no zero dice. How much damage did he do? Um. Excellent question. It's going to do four with a penetration of minus two. So got two dice to save it. Let's try and save that. I'm, I've only got two will left with my uh, voice of dag on. So three successes. I need at least two successes here. No, you need three successes. I got three. Yeah. Because it's my mage level that's going. You didn't get any. I didn't get any. Okay. So. so you take four damage penetration minus two. Which I've done that, so I've done I've done save. that. That was no, that was my save. So I failed both my saves. Ah, okay. So he takes four damage. Yep. So he drops the objective. Fill the donkey. Dave is down. Dave the donkey. I'll just put me down there, an inch away. So action one was worthwhile. Hmm. Action two, I'm going to grapple him. <laughs> Cause. Because I need to get you out of three inches of the objective. Right, okay. Uh so that is an attack. I'm stunned, it's three. Uh, sevens, isn't it? I've literally just looked at the rules for this. Uh, grapple's a pose roll. Ah, okay. So, against dexterity or just regular sevens? That's what I'm saying. I think we did it versus on sevens last time. I don't remember. Sounds about right, but falling rules, combat rules, guard rules, charges, and grapple. Target for sevens. Okay, go for it. No combat expertise. If it doesn't work, I should try and kill you instead. A two. two. Okay. I roll my three. I roll four dexterity. Yeah. Four. So I'm on dexterity. I'm on att oh, attack. attack answer. So it's three attack. Yay! Success. I win by two. But I got expert defense. Does that mean I can re-roll one then? No, that would be a defense, wouldn't it? Yeah, suppose, I suppose so. Yeah, that's my parry, isn't so it? So I get two successes. So you can move me two plus two inches. I can indeed. So you can shunt inches. him where you like. Shuck him. <laughs> about yay. So oh, he's going okay. out of that way by four. Right. And he's going to fall. We established it was four, didn't we? Four inches. So he's going to take a dex check. Four damage. Uh, that'd be a critical assess. That's two. Hits the water on a minus, and minus two. So, yeah. So just takes no damage. damage. Fine. You just splosh into the water. Yep. Not awful. And let you lose your stunned counter. I've not finished yet. That was oh, only okay. two, two actions. <laughs> I'm going to move over there and pick up the objective, obviously. Yeah. That's mine. Oops, a daisy. Come back, Dave. You're mine now, Dave. Yep. Three right. Actions. I think that was 80 actions, yeah. Nuked him, dropped it, chucked him over the edge like a legend, grabbed the donkey. Yeah. That sounds Done. Right. I believe so. Right, okay, so I have the voice of Dagon. He's going to activate. We're going to spend a command point, first of all, to get myself an extra action. Uh, my first action will be move over to Doctor. 
Second action will be grapple the doctor. And throw him in the water. You realise you've checked because with me. Only if you live. Are you intending to somehow I've got do... four actions. How are you going to kill me with grapple? I'm going to throw you over the water. I'm going to jump after you. I'm ah, a larger okay. model. And then I'm going to punish you in the water. Because okay. I'm a water creature. Go for it. So we're going to try this. So we get two successes there. Okay. Four. Sevens, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. One, two. two. That failed. It did. Second plan, I'll use action number two. <laughs> three, sorry, I'm on action three. Just to punch you, I'll attempt to get the three damage on you. I'll do this instead, so three attacks. That will be a fail. No, no, well, I'm going to get to your decks, aren't I? Decks of four. four. That'll be two successes. What's your wet hand uh, swap? Weapon, it's a plus uh, penetration protection. plus one protection. So five. One, two, three, four. Five. What are we trying to beat? One. Uh, you want sevens and you need two. You've got two successes. One, two, three. Made beat it. it. And final attack then. Hang on. It's not going to work. Hang on. If I use a command point, can I move the plague doctor away? At the end of my activation. It's not exactly the same action. No, end Is of it? activation. Did we read it wrong? Yeah. Okay. Sure? I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't think it's making a difference now. I'm rolling. I'm rolling really badly. That's a fail. Right. Okay, that's here. Voice of Dagon done and wasted the command points. That was unfortunate. Throw him in the water would have been yes, rather... Any time you completed an action. Oh, an action. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, okay. We well, could have moved away, but there you go. Um, hmm. Right, so it's just the heroes that have gone, isn't it? Strictly speaking, I've still got another action because I should have moved, done an attack of opportunity, ending in base contact with you. Then failed grapple. Then failed grapple. Defended attack. Then failed whatever you just did. So you've done three things. Three things, and I've got four actions. Why have you got four actions? Because I spent a command point to give himself an extra yeah. action. So move. Yep. Failed off and. Then opportunity. Yeah, yeah, which was my grapple. First attack was the grapple. Then two more attacks. Okay, so you okay. could actually break now before I do my final action. You stab in the face. <laughs> um, you could do. Um, but no, I will spend it. Uh, would I do that because you make attack opportunity? I will just move up to you and make another attack opportunity. Ah, stuff it, I'll stay around. Okay, I'll just make a final attack then with my last action point. Sorry, I've messed up the actions. That's <coughs> fine. No, I won't. Worth it. Oh, hang on, no fours. Fours, one success. So you're going have your five mm -hmm. dice in, and try and beat one. Hey, hey oh, Charlie. Nope. Yeah, okay. Right, <laughs> off we go again. Fight. Come on, Warden, do your, do your thing, because I think that's going to be pretty much the end of the game there, isn't it? Warden kills him. I've got no one left to recover the donkey. I'm going to grapple him. The dude over here, the stunned dude over here. Stunned dude, I'm feeling confident. <laughs> he has only got... And or cocky. Four points of life left. That's fine. So I'm going to grapple him. So that's he, four attacks. He won't die from the grapple. What? He'll just, you'll throw him into the water. I know. Okay. I have to kill him. So, here's my thinking. I think you just beat him over the head repeatedly. Because if I hit him twice, he dies. That chap that's in the water hasn't gone yet, so you could feasibly try and get over the doctor with a cheeky hop and make an attack of opportunity and do something annoying. Whereas what I want to do is jump him that way, jump down and bonce him. Okay, right. Let's, let's see not? it. Let's see it. I think we can So, first of all, grapple. Uh, right, four Sevens. Attacks. Sevens. Um, hang on. Start with active opportunity attack thing. I will use one of his command points. So yeah. Down to three to get an extra attack. Yeah. So we'll do the right order this time. I don't know why I'm bothering with this. It makes no difference now. What am I doing? Seven. Yeah. One, two. Two. Get in, two. son. Right. So we're going to attack that now. I am. St am I still stunned? You're stunned still. Yes, because you haven't had your. I, I, I went first into the last time, so I only got two attacks. Yes, one success. One. So one v two. So I can chuck you. Is it three one, four? One inch three. It's two inches plus one, I think. Why am I not getting that one? Two inches plus one. Okay. okay. I'm gonna just throw him straight up. Chuck him to there. Okay. So, so it's, it's another it's three inches there. So it's a four inch drop again in the water. Three inch drop from that one, isn't is it? Measure it from there. That's three. Oh yeah, three. That's three. So uh, I'll take a quick dex roll. Uh, basic one. Minus one. Yeah, that's minus one. No successes, takes one damage. Aha, plug. 
plug in there. Uh, I will spend a command point to interrupt your actions. And he will swim away. Uh, where can I go? Um, I'm not going to, I'm just going to... Hmm. Mm -hmm. He's got how many? He's only got four damage left as well. I'll uh, just swim over here. Oh, over there somewhere. Make that jump then, boyo. Where are we? All the way over to there is um, seven inches. What is it to here? Oh, five. I'll give you a five for that. <laughs> just because it's funny. So we just had an earthquake over here that killed a man. Oh, so I have to get three successes on four dice to make the hop and yep. I get the one attack from above because it's not an aquatic weapon. Okay. But it could be a grapple. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Face. Roll those dice. Let's see if we make this jump. But I want three. Come on, son. Yeah, we need three no. successes. No! That one, 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 two. That's not far enough. Three inches. Uh, there's a two, so four inches. Four two inches. successes. So it's not far enough. He drops... Jumps off and falls into the water. Just into the water like glass. Splosh, but it's you can jump diving down. So I could just make an uh, get the grapple of opportunity on my third AP then. Uh, you could wander across, yeah. yeah. Okay, just wander across. Engage. Swim across. You can move two inches. Minus. Oh no, it's minus two in water, isn't it? Moving in water because you're not aquatic. I think you can only move an inch in water. Is it minus two. <laughs> that was minus one. I think it's minus two, right? Because I only get the minus one because I'm a fast swimmer. Oh, he's so, so hang on, we have to remeasure everything. So where was he? He was just the other side of these barrels here. Right there. So he can't make it an inch. Oh, he can't make it an inch. What's he going to do? What's he he's just do? done. I think that's probably game there, isn't it? I'm. I can't get your. I can't get the thing off her. So mm. you're going to score three victory points for the, or for two victory points for that one, isn't it? Because you haven't got hold of it. She has. She slid down the stairs. Oh, it does. Okay, and three for that one. So we'll call that game there. I think. Hooray! Um, Success and win for the doctors. It was um, not pretty. I can't wait till next week till I have my big beastie and my hybrids in play. That's fine. But there we go. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you again another day.